My name is Allie and I uh, founded an organization called Voters for Animal Rights. What we do is we help elect animal friendly people to office. We help lobby to pass laws to protect animals and we hold elected officials accountable to the promises that they make to humane voters. I know that today is super dark. I know it's incredibly sad. I've shed tears alongside you guys all day. But what I want to talk to you guys about today is what we can do together as a movement to make progress after going through this together um, and how you guys can be a part of that. So my hope is that I know that today is super sad. I know that this is incredibly emotional, but I hope that we can find a way together to take those emotions and put them into action for animals and start to win the laws that we need to protect them. Um, as the assembly member will very much attest to, there is little to no protections in our laws for animals. And I wanna let you guys know about a couple of things that we're working on um, and how you can get involved. So right now in the city council, we have an unprecedented um, position in that we have a number of council members who are actually vegan or vegetarian themselves, um, such as council member Fernando Cabrera in the Bronx, uh, Corey Johnson, who's the speaker, he's a very much an ally to the vegan community, Justin Brannon uh, in Brooklyn, and of course, Helen Rosen on the Upper West Side. Um, and that's just to name a few folks who are currently our allies and who are working to get these kind of laws passed. Um, there's a reso in the city council right now that would ban the use of processed meats in public schools. That's an amazing first step. So I would encourage you to call your council members and urge them to co-sponsor this resolution. Again, it's a resolution that would stop using processed meats in our public schools and make sure that kids have much healthier, more uh, sustainable options in the classroom. Another piece of legislation that we're working on um, is a bill that, it's not out yet, but it's a bill that would, in the long run, we believe help close down slaughterhouses in New York City. What this bill would do when introduced is it would stop granting licenses to businesses that want to open up slaughterhouses. What it would also do, which is great, uh, what it would also do is close the loophole that allows slaughterhouses to transfer their licenses uh, to different businesses. So what happens right now is if you close your slaughterhouse down, you can then sell your license to another business and they can just continue operating an awful slaughterhouse. And we don't want that to happen anymore. So when that bill comes out, we are gonna need your help. We cannot do this alone. Um, go to vfar.org, it's vfar.org or votersfarmerrights.org and please sign up for our action alert so that you can be notified when the animal legislation comes out and when it's moving and uh, that way you can get plugged in and uh, start reaching out to your representatives and letting them know that this is something that's important to you. Um, we saw what happened with the circus last year when we all worked together and we all had sus consistent, sustainable pressure on our elected officials to make sure that that bill got passed. But remember, that bill took 11 years to get through. 11 years, so it's not easy. Um, but I believe that we are at the, on the cusp right now of getting a lot of legislation passed for animals, but we can do this if we all work together and we all make sure that we take the time to hold our elected officials accountable uh, to their promises to humane voters. Um, and I'll just leave you with again, please go to vfar.org and sign up so that you can start getting plugged into helping us pass laws to protect animals. Thanks.